you know, the, the big question, the burning question everyone wants to know. What strings do you use? <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. I used to, I used to like, um, I got in, uh, when I was younger, when I was a teenager, I got into, I really started getting into, for some reason, the elements like copper and aluminum and things like right. that, and I found that they made nickel strings. I think one of my older brothers said, oh yeah, they never break. I, you know, I mean, all guitar strings break, but uh, something like that. So I got those nickel ones, and I liked those for a while. But then after a while, I, I, I stopped caring, you know, I, and I just, I'll use yeah, whatever. Yeah. I, Certain See, guitars don't, you, you don't want to yeah. change the strings, and then yeah. others, you want to have them fresh all the time. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah. Cool. that's true, that's true. Certainly in the early days of like, learning, playing rhythm and all of that, you know, those, those things, but listening to all these guys playing bending string stuff, there was this element in the equation that was really important because all the strings that you got in England were really quite tough for the E string. Really and then thick. And then the transition came of using a banjo string, which is ah. very, very about the skinniest you could get to go on the first string. For years I was using a banjo string on the first oh, really? and then de-stringing all the others so that the first string would actually become the second. Gotcha. And you throw the sixth string away, you know, because oh, the fifth great. would become yeah. that. I got, when I was a teenager, I got, when I was telling you before, I started to get into Dick Dale and I heard that, you know, he was using like 70 gauge right. uh, E strings, really heavy. And he, of course, plays upside down, you know. And uh, so I started using really heavy strings too like that. And I think even then at the same time, I had heard somebody saying that Kurt Cobain was putting piano strings on his guitar too. So there was a moment there where I started thinking, how, yeah. heavy, how heavy can I take it? You know, how heavy yeah. can I get it and, and actually still play that with it? That was definitely yeah. a punk rock thing too. Yeah. yeah. Saw the a yeah. couple of bands live. I was looking at their guitars and it looked huge thick strings. And it actually does sound different. It does, yeah. I break them no matter what they are. It doesn't seem like they help. I mean, they're just constantly breaking for me. So I just figure.